Hello and welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. I have been getting lots of questions on how I'm seeing my bed mesh on my K1 Max or your K1 or your K1C. How do I see the bed mesh? It's not in Creality Prints. How do you get it? How do you have that? I don't have it. Well, let me tell you right now. It's not in Creality Print, okay? Creality Slicer does not have the bed mesh. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can see your bed mesh. Let's scratch today's topic. So how you can see your bed mesh is by getting your 3D printer's IP address, okay? That's the first thing. You need your printer's IP address. So how do you get that? Go into setting, click on network, okay? Click on network, and if you are connected to Wi-Fi, you should see your printer's IP address right under your Wi-Fi name. So that's how you get your printer's IP address. Once you have your IP address, you can put it into any browser that you use. Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or you can use software like Orca Slicer, and you can put it directly in there, and you will be able to see your bed mesh. Okay, so right now, I'm in Orca Slicer, and once you selected your printer, you click this little bar right here that says connection it's like a wi-fi bar you click that and then this window will pop out so you put your ip address right here host name ip or url you put your printer's ip address right here you can put a colon and then your port number either 4408 for fluid or 4409 for main cell click test and then it says that connection to actor print works correctly. So that means that it's connected to Orca Slicer. So once you have that, go up here, click device, and now you should see your fluid interface or your main cell interface, depend on which one you use. And if you scroll down, you will see your bed mesh right here. On the side over here, you go down to tune, you click tune and you should also see your full bed mesh here on the right hand side here you can home everything you can clear your profile you can save your profile you can view as probe matrix or mesh matrix you can show wireframe like this you can see the flat plane which is like that and you can do so much more here okay let's go to a browser right now for me i'm using google chrome so at the top of the search bar or at the search bar you put in your printer's ip address i'm going to be putting my printer's ip address with the 4408 or 4409 for fluid or main cell just click enter and now you should also see the whole interface of fluid or main cell whatever you want you want to use and yeah you can go down see your bed mesh here you can see your bed mesh in the tomb and that is exactly how you can see your bed mesh for your k1 k1 max k1c or I think or any printer that runs clipper I believe you can do this and see the bed mesh in Creality Print I'm gonna be open Creality Print right now you cannot see your bed mesh in Creality Print for whatever reason they just don't put it there I feel like it should be there I feel like it's a must right yeah you go to Creative Prints go to detail you only see this and if you like try to mess around with your printer turn off the light it works but if you turn it back on or something like that, it's gonna disconnect your printers from Creative Print, which is you know kind of annoying. But it's okay. We have browser, we have Orca Slicer. It works perfectly, and yeah, that is exactly how you can see your bed mesh, control your 3D printers, and many more stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want to see next, or what kind of models you want me to model, and what type of videos do you like the best and something is coming very soon i'm very excited and yeah as always keep on 3d printing